All right, thank you so much everyone for joining in. This is the day eight on Wireshark Basics TCP analysis, TCP protocol analysis. First of all, I must say thank you so much everyone for participating in this challenge. You made the entire challenge a fabulous event, okay? So let's take a quick minute and let me show you what exactly this challenge is all about. Of course, those who haven't joined this challenge, they can find the link in the uh, you know description below in this video and you can join the challenge make sure once you register for the challenge you will get a confirmation email to to confirm your subscription basically make sure you check your promotion tab or maybe in some case your junk email as well and make sure you pull it and move it to your main email body your primary inbox so that you don't miss any future email, okay? And the first email would be about Discord server. So you can access the Discord server. And once you come here, you will you have to first introduce yourself in the introduce yourself section. And then you can go to day one, where under the pin message, where under the pin message, you will find the first message. This consists of step-by-step -step guide about what to do in this task. And then you can take a snapshot uh, of the output which will be mentioned in the task itself don't worry you can take a snapshot and share across in this channel just like everyone have done it already okay so i believe it's gonna be fun for you and you will definitely enjoy um let's talk about the wireshark protocol and our tcp protocol analysis um remember for this lab you can download the sample pcap file from here and um also make sure you get a basic idea about what is tcp just to give you a context um tcp is basically let me let me do this so yeah so there is a, something called osi model os in osi model we have got around seven sorry let me erase this let me clear the canvas and let me add a shape in instead okay so this is the shape all right so okay now there are around there are total seven layers so one two let me move it down yeah one two three four five six and seven okay this is the physical layer okay physical layer then we have a data link layer okay then we have network layer okay we are talking about the osi model remember okay then we have transport layer transport layer then we have session layer presentation layer and then finally we have app layer application layer basically tcp and udp tcp and udp both works on on transport layer okay the job of tcp and udp is to make sure we have a socket to socket communication from one machine uh, ip address plus port number so TCP and UDP both works on IP plus port. Every machine, every machine uh, talks on the internet can have around 65,535 port. Okay. And each port represent a specific service. Okay. So similarly, we have different port. If you, a computer is running HTTPS, uh, HTTP service, web service, it might use port 80 for HTTPS. It will be using 443. For SSH servers, uh, it may be using 22. So depending on that, uh, the port number varies. Now, when we talk about the TCP, TCP is used by any system when we want to have a reliable communication. Reliable means, let's say there are two computers talking, or let's say one computer and a server is talking in, in, the, in the internet. Now, when I say reliable, that means it's, there's a guaranteed delivery. If I send something, it's guaranteed that the message will be delivered. It might get delayed a little, but it will be delivered for sure. So this happened because 
whenever you send something from one system to another in internet using tcp you get an acknowledgement okay you get an acknowledgement this assures that the message was delivered but if you don't get the acknowledgement it will keep sending the retransmission the retransmission of the same packet assuming that it might have dropped maybe the acknowledgement got dropped or maybe the system might not have received that so there is a retransmission method other than this there are tcp is a connection oriented message current current connection oriented protocol basically it means it follows uh, it uh, before sending the actual data it actually sends it establish the session and this establishment is done by three way handshake tcp three way handshake where um, let me pull it up yeah so what happened in here is what happened in here is this is my system and this is a server okay so first my computer will send a tcp packet with sin flag set okay in tcp packet the header basically there is a option called there are multiple flags in the tcp each flag represent the state um, a specific message so if the tcp header uh, with sin flag is sent which means synchronous synchronization basically it means that i want to talk to you maybe it's a google.com let's say it's a google.com server right so this means when the computer send the send flag that means i want to talk to you the google server acknowledge this packet it says okay and at the same time it also it also adds its own send flag saying that okay i'm also ready to talk to you so and finally the computer will send the acknowledgement for the sin flag so every sin need to be acknowledged acknowledged right so this sin synac and ac completes the three way handshake and this is the connection oriented method after this the actual data can be transmitted right after this the actual data can be transmitted between both server and client similarly um, similarly there is a, a fin message as well if you want to terminate this session or terminate the entire conversation your machine will send the fin which is finish then it will acknowledge it and also add its own fin mess fin flag finally it will send the acknowledgement so there is a there is a way to establish the session there is a way to terminate the session okay that's why it is reliable that's why whenever you want to have one to one communication you follow you use tcp okay it's not that we never use udp udp is bad of course udp is unreliable you can't really rely on udp but still let's say you have thousands of people maybe millions of people you need to talk to at once you can't expect to have an acknowledgement from everyone right in that situation you use udp where you send a message where you as a person send a message and this will go to thousands of millions of people but you don't expect the acknowledgement because it's kind of a broadcast like you have an event right and you're talking to thousands of people but you don't want everyone to acknowledge it right that you're listening that, that they are listening right but if you're talking to your parents maybe your parents are talking to you maybe your parent expect you to acknowledge that just yes, you are listening to them so that's what tcp ip uh, communication really looks like i hope this was clear for you once you are good with this uh, i suggest you go through the tcp uh, header you can see i have also mentioned the header this is the sin uh, flag header where it consists of multiple flag you can see sin ac fin rst which is reset psh which is push urge urge is basically urgent okay every flag has its own importance this is most common this is must uh, some of the most common filters which you will use you can go through it if you want if you run tcp.flags.sin.1 that means you will see all the packet with sin flag set that means you will see all the all the packets where the connections are initiated if you see tcp.flags.fin equal to 1 that means all the packets where the fin flag is set 
So this is how you can, you know, see all the packets on the Wireshark. And then once you do, once you are done with this, once you learn with this, you have to submit uh, the snapshot of this command. So the, these are some of the snapshots that I require you to take after showing me all the TCP packet, all the, all the, uh, after showing all the SYN packets or FIN packet and everything. I hope this would be fun for you. You will definitely learn something. If you have any question or something, you can ask in the Discord channel itself. I'll be there for you.